Okay, so, are you ready to dive into some Hollywood drama? Always? Because we've got some big news to unpack. Conan O'Brien, oh, yeah. the king of late night, <laughs> the master of quirky humor, is going to be hosting the 97th Academy Awards. Oh, wow. I know, right? Yeah. It's a wild <laughs> choice. And we're going to break down why this is such a big deal using this really interesting article as our guide. Sounds good. It's called Conan O'Brien's Big Night. From late night legend to Oscar ringmaster. And it really gets into like why this is such a departure for the Oscars and what it could mean for the future of the show. Yeah, that's uh, it's fascinating because Conan's career has been so diverse. I mean, he's written for The Simpsons. He's had multiple successful late night talk shows. He has a popular podcast and he's even done international travel shows. And he's hilarious in all of them. Exactly. But the Oscars are known for being very formal, you know, very <laughs> glamorous and prestigious. So to have someone like Conan, who's known for his kind of offbeat, sometimes even absurdist humor, well, it's definitely a risk. Yeah, it makes you wonder, like, what's the Academy thinking? You know, the article mentions that they were considering John Mulaney before Conan, another comedian who's known for being really relatable. Right. It almost seems like they're trying to shake things up a bit. Yeah, it's a clear shift in their approach. I think they might be hoping to attract a younger audience, maybe a more diverse audience, huh? people who wouldn't normally tune in to the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Academy CEO, Bill Kramer, and their president, Janet Yang, are quoted in the article saying that Conan is the perfect person to host and that they love his humor and his passion for movies, but... Uh... But he's also the guy who made a Taco Bell joke when they announced he was hosting. Right, so it's like, are they really prepared for Conan to be Conan? Because <laughs> his humor can be pretty self-deprecating, pretty out there. Absolutely. And that's the big question. Is he going to tone it down for the Oscars? Or is he going to bring his own unique brand of humor to Hollywood's biggest night? Yeah. And can you imagine if he throws in a Taco Bell reference during the monologue? That would be amazing. Honestly, I think his background as a writer is really important here. He spent years working on shows like The Simpsons and Saturday Night Live, where comedic timing is everything. So even if he does throw in some surprises, I think he'll do it in a way that's smart and well-crafted. Yeah, that makes sense. And let's not forget, he's a pro at live television. He's been doing late night shows for years, so he knows how to handle unexpected moments and connect with a live audience. That's true. And he's also really good at poking fun at Hollywood culture, but in a way that's still appreciative of filmmaking. You know, mm -hmm. it's a tough balance. Absolutely, he finds that sweet spot between satire and genuine respect. But I do wonder about the global audience. Like, will people in other countries get his humor, which is often very American, very pop culture focused? Okay, good point. Will they understand the Taco Bell jokes? I mean, is the Academy risking alienating their core audience by trying to appeal to new viewers? That's the gamble they're taking. It could backfire, but it could also be a huge success. And I think that's what makes this so interesting. It's not just about Conan hosting the Oscars. It's about the Academy trying to stay relevant in a changing world. It's about trying to appeal to a wider, more diverse audience and recognizing that even institutions like the Academy need to adapt. So what's the bottom line here? I think we can expect a mix of classic Conan wit, maybe a Taco Bell reference or two, all presented in a way that hopefully respects the tradition of the Oscars while also pushing the boundaries a little bit. Yeah, will it work? Who knows? But it's definitely going to be interesting to watch. Absolutely. Don't miss it. Mark your calendars, folks. March 2nd. This could be the most unpredictable Oscars ever. And that's saying something. <laughs> All right, that's it for our deep dive today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. And don't forget to check out the original article, Conan O'Brien's Big Night, from late night legend to Oscar ringmaster for even more insights. We'll see you next time. See you then.